Zero Fatalities kicked off its summer campaign today to encourage Utahns to summer safely. It's an updated campaign focused on driving habits. News specialist Jed Ball introduces us to a crash survivor tonight with a powerful lesson to share. Jed? Yeah, Dave. You know, summer safely refers to that period of time between Memorial Day and Labor Day when our highway fatalities nearly double. Well, four years ago, Joshua Homestead nearly became one of those fatalities. I spend a lot of time behind the wheel, and, uh, you know, I, I just plan ahead. Joshua Homestead drives 30 to 50,000 miles a year. He took defensive driving classes for work, but didn't think much of that until he needed it near Duchesne in 2017. I remember thinking that that car is going fast, you know, I could, just by the way the car was behaving. His dash cam rolling. Her uh, right hand wheels went off the side and I thought she was going to roll off into the into the bushes. But the driver overcorrected. I had about a second and a half to decide what to do, but uh, it was muscle memory from the class. He hit the brakes and turned the wheel just enough to clip the car. He later learned the driver was not wearing a seatbelt. Both cars totaled, but neither driver seriously hurt. I was angry because I thought that person being out of control nearly killed me. You know, it was it was really scary. He thinks the woman was in a hurry and lost focus. Because when you're driving a vehicle, it's it's a it's a multi-ton wrecking ball, and uh, one moment of inattention could. Can really hurt people. More than 90% of all crashes involve human error, distracted driving, speeding, exhaustion, impairment, and not buckling up. We could see higher than usual uh, traffic, and, and we all have to uh, to prepare for that. And and that means driving safe, driving focused, driving driving alert. Homestead stays focused. I will not set the crews over the speed limit. I'm the guy putting along in the right lane or middle lane that everyone's passing left and right because I want that extra second or two. Yeah, to give him the space in case something goes wrong. Over the last five years, on average, nine, 90 people have died on Utah roads each summer. Last year, that number exceeded 100. The Summer Safely campaign hopes to drive those numbers down.